Hi guys, I'm in the park. I thought it'd be an interesting place for me to just ramble. So I've had the thought of late that since I work in a corporate environment and I use Arch, the, the thing that comes up is like, Arch uh, isn't a mandated OS. It doesn't comply to policy. I can't use it. So, um, yeah, what is policy? What, what is the device management policy? Like, what's the point of it? Like, I didn't actually kn know about it. So I just... Okay, Mimi. She's playing with, she's playing with the doll. So with device management, an enterprise is basically sort of protecting their workforce from external attacks. They do this by saying that you have to have a strong password, that you need two-factor authentication, and uh, that you might have to use biometrics or something, whatever. I can get behind that. I can get behind that you need to have a policy and then you need to apply it and you need to check that all your mobile and desktop environments meet that, um, that check. Don't know how this is done in the Linux world. If you know, please comment below. But as I thought about more about it, I was just thinking um, that this is a bit of a slippery slope when you let your company to, <laughs> to sort of remotely admit. I mean, policy is fine, but what I've seen a lot lately is that um, is this trend for like remote assistance, right? So at a click of a button, you can get someone in your company to help do something for you. Pretty useful if you're a noob. <laughs> but I can't help but think, if your machine allows remote administration in some way, then surely you're opening up Pandora's box here because ideally a, ma a machine that you're using be it mobile, be it desktop, it's kind of behind a NAT, can't be remotely accessed. And, um, and, and this, you know, just being behind a NAT and not running a service, that, that's some degree of security, right? But if you, you run a service that somehow, you know, uh, dials out and allows uh, incoming connections to your machine, I just can't help but think it's extremely dangerous. So I think Intel had some sort of backdoor whatever it's called in its BIOS which everyone was freaking out about but now it's also common to have um, a service running on your OS of course um, what blew my mind um, recently is that one of my Twitter followers is telling me that he uses Steam to dial back to his um, his MacBook MacBooks, the VNC in MacBooks is kind of bad, but evidently if he uses Steam and runs and somehow use Steam Link with his, with his editor, it's the lowest latency way of, of dialing back to his, um, his machine. So if you, you can use Steam to remotely administer a machine. So all those machines running Steam are basically remotely um, exploitable, essentially, right? Um, other than whoever supports the platform and there was a video link above where AMD um, sort of purports promotes their technology that you can remotely um, administer your AMD machine uh, you know for, for gaming use cases but still I kind of I think geez if you do that you just opening up a Pandora's box of problems the remote access is such a dangerous uh, such a dangerous usage pattern in my opinion it's it's almost just not worth doing but everyone seems to be doing it so if i'm wrong do let me know comment below and uh, tell me how wrong i am or chime in and say how right i am i don't do that It'd be bad for my ego Anyway, um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Sorry, I think someone can hear me, so I feel so embarrassed saying that.